Okay, so this is the density of a uh, density lab, the thickness of aluminum foil. So I have three pieces. Let me turn this off. I have an electronic balance. Off. Off. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, um, I have three pieces of foil. I have a small piece. I have a medium piece. And I have a large piece. Okay, so you should have the lab sheet out as well, talking about the uh, questions. So the first says, measure three rectangular pieces of aluminum foil. You know, we should cut them or use the squares previously prepared. So I wouldn't say all of these are rectangles or slightly. So again, my ruler, I'm going to be using the centimeter sign. Okay. And again, sorry, um, you should see that these go to the tenths. So we're going to be going to one decimal place farther, which is the hundredths. Okay. So let us do some measurements. And this is not exact. Leah square. I'm going to say this first one, can you see what I'm doing? Uh, I'm going to say it's right on 8. So I'm going to say 8.00. So my data table, I'm going to write it down. Here's the lab sheet. Foil piece number 1. Length is 8.00. Uh, title, um, we could say aluminum foil. Dimension. Okay, so I said aluminum foil dimensions for foil piece number one. I put an eight. Okay, so now I have to do the width, and this looks like 7.50. So 7.50. Okay, I'll do calculations later for area, mass. See my balance here, put it on 0.27 grams. Oh, 0.27 units are there. Okay, so there's my small piece. I'm going to put it away. My second piece, got to zero that out. Okay, here's my second piece. Do some measurements here. I'm using centimeters. 13.50, foil number two, 13.50, and then the width, 14.70. Okay, now let's find the mass, make sure that's zeroed out, 0.60. Not even a whole gram. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Okay, our next and largest piece, pretty big. Okay, uh, I'm going to measure, and you'll apologize, my station is so cramped. 27.8 is the length. 27.80. And then my width, oops, error two means I put too much weight on there. I should not ever press on it. Looks like 15.40. 15.40. I, yep, oh, and now it is time for my mass. Okay. 1.82. Now I can get this out of here. Out of there. Right here. One point eight two. Oh, I have already got green. All right. So now it says we need to calculate these things. So it's always good to go back and read directions. Um. So up here, it talks about um, how to calculate some of these other things. Area is length times width, so this is length times width. 
That should be easy to calculate. Density is your mass divided by volume. So we'll, we're going to have, mm, I'm going to have to find my volume. Ooh, now wait. Oh, uh-oh, I forgot. We're going to need to look up the density of aluminum foil. So we have our reference tables. I would go to reference table S. I would find aluminum number 13. And I travel over and find the density, which I will not give to you because you can certainly look that up. And since density is the same for all of them, right? Aluminum density. Okay, we're going to try table T. S, excuse me, table S. Right, once I find my density, and by the way, these should all be the same. As we're going to learn that density does not change depending on sample size. Volume. So look here, if density equals mass over volume, put this over 1. So that means density times volume equals mass, which means mass divided by density. And it shows you that up here also. So this is mass divided by density it goes here. And then to find thickness is up here. Okay? So you're going to have that. Now, should these three be the same? Sorry. Should these three be the same? Yes, they should. Will they? No, because we're humans and we make mistakes. Um, so down here in analysis, you will need to show your work, show all calculations. Um, let's let sig fig slide. So don't worry about that, but you do need to show your units, final units. Okay, look at it. It even told you the formulas. How awesome is that? Okay, and then there are questions on the other side that you can figure out on your own. As far as the lab itself, there you have it.